Hey guys, welcome back to Drift Barrels. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today we're gonna to try to tackle this uh, sticky door handle. Uh, this is where I guess BMW probably cheaped out a little bit or whatever material they made this handle from. You start to get this like black and sticky thing on your hands. So uh, we're gonna change that out and DIY that today. So I just bought this kit um, off, believe it's off eBay. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with it because um, it came with with this panel opener, which is pretty interesting. They also give you a screwdriver. Well, not really a screwdriver. Like I think it's a T21 and uh, a small flathead screwdriver, I guess, to take the part of the door handle out and let's put that down the screws and washers and obviously the the door handles so uh i took them up prior i've had these for a while i just never installed them as you could see looks pretty okay um, it looks like the same quality. It feels like the same quality as the OEM. This one just clips on. This is the outer part. Over here, this is the inner part. This goes onto the panel itself. As you can see, the product is pretty nice. It's very soft touch to it. It feels like an OEM part, but it doesn't feel as, I would say, as not the words not brittle but it doesn't feel as rough it's definitely much softer it feels like the whole entire piece is made like that so and it definitely feels strong so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this door panel remover and use that to lift this here up remove this be gentle with it well even after the chain we have to pull with some force this clip is on pretty strong i don't want to try not to snap it. Oh, okay that's what i didn't want i didn't want to snap any clips a uh, little sticky thing here on the end all right, so I remove this door panel. And I put that inside. And now I have to remove this panel over here. So that's why I'm gonna use a flat screwdriver. I think I need a stronger screwdriver. Hold on. Hmm, almost poke a hole in my leather here. Thank goodness I didn't do that. All right, so trying to see where I get a good. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we move the outer. The outer is not bad. It looks reusable. And now we have some T21s on the inside. All right, so these screws are pretty long. And for some reason, I think they seem to get like stuck in there. So I use the tweezer to really pull them out. So it helps pretty much. 
that way. And now I think we have to start prying the door off. It's uh, off the off the. I forgot. I need to take off this screw here on top. Which is also holding the door in place. That was on pretty tight. And then I should be able to release the door, the panel. I finally found a, a spot where I could pull it on. I used this over here and just pulled it and then used my hand to pull one or two and I felt it flip off. So that definitely helps. I know most DIY they're showing is pretty easy. A lot of times they kind of pre-do it before they before they actually do the job. So alright. Okay, so let's take, let me see if I can take this down. There we go. And now we have these wires exposed. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me move the camera. All right. So first we're gonna take this one off. Oops. This came off itself. Let me see here. So while I was trying to take out this uh, this wire here, uh, for some reason the connector to push it down is on this side. It's not on this side, so it makes it a lot harder. So this whole top piece came out with the rubber. Just make sure you put it in this way. Back in, it's, it's easy to put back in. Just put the rubber on the bottom. It's like a button rubber. And make sure that this is on the right side and on the left side. I made that mistake and this wouldn't fit in. You could tell because this piece here wouldn't fall in and this piece here wouldn't fall in on the sides. So turn it the other way, make sure it's on the right side and it's gonna fall in easy. And make sure the rubber that's inside, it lines up with the circuit board. As you could see, this is on correctly, it's good. And it works really well when you click the up and down. This is for the window. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is drill out these rivets. This one on this side here. I believe it's uh, these two, and it's going to be these two down here. So I'm gonna get my my uh, my drill bits and size them up and see what's what I could use. All right, so I'm using my impact gun with an impact drill bit. Is actually from a set of like um, removing like bolts that are like the top break off and stuff like that. But it'll do the same thing. You just need to drill a hole just to get that out. Um, this is uh, a 1964 um, size drill bit, but you could for drills I think it's a three fourth. So I believe this should work fine. All right, I'm gonna start drilling, but before you do, be sure to put this underneath something that's soft so that uh, obviously you don't scratch your leather or anything like that. So I'm gonna start at a level two and see what happens. Oops. All 
right, let's try the other one. Just need to drill out the plastic. Just to get all these plastic shavings. Let's try the top. I just need to get this clip off. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a screwdriver to knock the rest of that out. Okay. And now I just use a flathead just to take off that plastic that's holding it. See these little plastic divots? There's not much to hold them in place anymore. Guessing should be able to take. Ouch! <laughs> should be able to take this 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 off. Hold on, I need some gloves. All I did was just pull it, and it came right out. As you can see, it is nasty. This is pretty bad, yo. I like BMW, but sometimes they use things that just don't make any sense, especially with how expensive the car is and supposed to be high luxury brand and stuff so i don't know if we may have to replace this here onto the new one i don't remember seeing this in the new one don't mind the rain it's starting to come down here so all right let me check the other one and see if it comes okay let's take some new gloves let me see Nah, you have to replace the old one. Take the clip off the old one and then put it in there. So let's take this out. I'm gonna take it out with a screwdriver. I'll just pop it right out. I'm gonna need gloves for this again. All right, I took the clip off the other one. So the best thing to do is to go on the other side where you'll see this side of the clip. And there's two metals here. So use a screwdriver, push on this side and push on the other side, and then it's to release it. And then you're gonna insert this one right in here. And just snap it in. There you go. Just snap it right in. And then now you're ready to insert this. And you're gonna have some screws that's gonna go here. Another screw that's gonna go there. So the first thing you do is you line up the holes correctly, put it in, you'll hear like a little tiny snap. And then from here, you're just gonna put in the screws in the back, which is one here, one here, one here, one there. And you sit this up here, against the car. So this is the screws it comes with. And uh, you have washers. So you're gonna put in the washer and the screw and just tighten them down. All right, I'm gonna put in this washer and the screw. And just screw this down. Make sure you screw it tight enough. Remember, this is plastic. Or you could use your own screw and washer if you like. Let's get some at Home Depot if anything. Okay. 
Sometimes it's tight enough, don't overdo it. Gentle when it comes to plastic parts. It's raining here, it's coming down pretty hard. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. It's actually the second week in a row I'm working on the car. It started to rain. It's getting pretty heavy. All right, once you have all four screws in, just uh, go over them one more time, make sure they're down properly and pull on the handle a little bit, make sure it's tight. All right, going over them again. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. Oh, that's really tight. Good. This is okay. Stay the way it is. This is good. Make sure you take out all the shavings. All right, let's go on the other side. And yeah, I'm holding it by the by the handle. It's on pretty good. Yep. All right, now it's time to just put all the wires in and put it back on the car. Okay, it was my mistake. Uh, the black one, yellow black one goes on the bottom. This blue one attaches to, to the speaker over here. Uh, I believe it's the bottom one, not the top one. But you know, I'm gonna try it out before I put everything back together, so. All right, I just uh, um, turned the radio on and this works, so the bottom one, I'm pretty sure the top one's for like the tweeters and stuff like that, so. All right, so now we're gonna put everything back on to these clips and push it against the door, push against the door, and then hopefully uh, everything should be sitting flush. After you put one, two, three, four screws back in, make sure they're tight because they were very tight before. That's like the main thing that holds this panel onto the, the door. The next thing is to put this um, front cover back on. It just clips on. Make sure you line it up correctly. You can see this looks like a perfect fit, man, to be honest with you. It's really good, very strong. Then last is to put on this panel. I'm not too sure exactly what happened here, but it looks like they put double-sided tape. So this could stick on here. Whoever opened this prior, it's probably the who knows what they did. So this book right here and they put double sided tape so it could stay on. But it's alright, we'll handle that in a little bit. But make sure that these screws go in the hole. And that's it, we're done. As you guys can see, look, it's very strong. Quality is good. If you look at it, the quality is good. It looks very OEM. Maybe I'll put the link in the description so you guys could see where I got it from. And it's a, 
Took me, I think, in maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour to do this. So uh, if you guys have any issues or have any questions about this, um, hit me up in the comment sections. Um, if, you're, if you need help with fixing your vehicle, um, I may be available, maybe on weekends or so. So just hit me up or direct message me or send me something in the comment section. So this is it. This was a successful DIY. Um, oh, one more, another part clipped in, good. Successful DIY. Um, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Drift Virals, we're out. Peace.